A total gentleman, he just went over to the window and closed the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> and locked the window. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, another time we were, um, we, we checked into a hotel late, and when we got there, um, one of the guys in the band checked into his room, and there was a girl in his bed who checked in about three hours earlier as, as you know, Mrs. So-and-so. And she blagged her way past the hotel security somehow. In his bed? And, you know, she was... It was like something off Dynasty. He came running out into the corridor and said, Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, what we all went in and had a quick look, you know, and said, Oh, my God, what happened then? So what do you do in the corridor? When in a situation like that, um, you... Well, obviously, I mean... <laughs> There was a time, probably in the 60s and the early 70s, where people would just say, jack it off and in you go, you know. Yeah. Um, me, uh, personally, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, Joel. Yes, 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 yes. yes I'm, I'm not into Joel, that yeah. kind of thing. I'm, uh, I'm very happily engaged to a, a very to beautiful Irish lady at yes. the moment. But, so. but go back to, so she's in the bed, so she's, she's in, in the your bed. bedroom, what do you do? Well, well she wasn't in my bed. No, no, so I, you I run out of the corridor and thing. you go, ah! Yeah. And then what do you do? Well, we all went in and had a look, and, um, <laughs> yes. and then he, he just literally went back down reception and said, "There's." Um, it, it was almost like, waiter, there's a fly in my <laughs> soup, you know, <laughs> there's a lady in my bed. <laughs> Most people would never complain, but believe it or not, when, when you have people throwing themselves at you, and they do, yes. and I, believe me, I probably think the same as you, I cannot understand why either, because, I mean, Def Leppard, uh, we're a successful band, but we're not the most good-looking band in the world. Ah, why they'd want, why ah. they'd want to leap into our beds amazes me anyway, but um, I just find it fascinating that people can, can like, adore a band so much that they will do yeah. that kind of thing. You know? Yeah, I see, yeah. It's all part of the fun, you just can't take it seriously. Yeah, yeah. It's like the monkeys, it's like watching the monkeys, but it being, you know, in real life. You know? Yeah. It happens at airports, in hotels, at the shows. Usual thing. Hey, what do you think of you two? Well, I mean, I'd be a fool to say anything other than I think they're wonderful, you know. Actually, I mean, uh, I would never get one of their gigs free again, would I, if I didn't? No, you wouldn't. No, but you? seriously, I think, um, I think they're wonderful. I, I've, I was late into U2, I must admit, I wasn't a fan from the early days. I got into U2 from, I think, Sunday Bloody Sunday onwards. So mm. I missed the first couple of albums, maybe. Mm. But, um, what about Hot House Flowers? Hot House Flowers, I, I, th I think I was the first person to buy the album. I, I remember them as the Benzini brothers, yeah. so I was fascinated and, and intrigued about the whole thing. And I just think for a first album, it sounds like a band that's been around for a few years. It's very well made. Good, aren't they? Very good. Good lads, very good. good lads. All right, thank you very much indeed, Joe. Lovely to meet you, and, and thank you for joining us tonight. You're a nice fellow. Nice pleasure. Fella. Nice fellow. Joe Edwards.